Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika with Ala Shamika and we're back with another video. As you can tell by the title of the video, y'all, we are going to be making clear cash envelopes like these that you see right here. And I'm going to basically show you how I make these um, envelopes, which are my new ones going into the month of February. I decided to just clean out house and just start fresh and make some new envelopes for myself. So I'm going to be showing you how I made these right at home on my silhouette cameo and how easy it is for you to make it too if you have the supplies. So up first, the first thing that you are going to need um, that I need, I use is a paper cutter, which you can find from any like craft store or anything like that. So you'll need that. You're also going to need some um, laminating sheets. I use the Scotch thermal laminating pouches. For the inside, I use three mil, which is super like thin, very thin, just to get the inside pocket. And then for the outside, you're gonna need five mil lamp five mil laminating the next thing obviously you're going to need a laminator this is also the scotch brand but i do have another scotch brand i also have another amazon brand and i really just have three different ones just i just switch them out whenever i feel like this one is just not working for me um another thing that i use is going to be a little um this just seals the vinyl and everything. And then you'll need a weed, a little pit thing. What is this called? The little um, weeding tool, basically to get the vinyl off. And then you're going to need some transfer paper to take the vinyl off of the backing, off of the like actual roll of vinyl and put it onto your envelope. And then last but not least, obviously you're going to need the vinyl. So I've already pre-cut my vinyl and everything. Um, I'll insert like a clip of how I designed it and all of that on um, Silhouette, but I've already pre-cut it. And so now let's just move into starting the process of taking them off of this and getting them on here. So the way that I do it is I will take my um cutting machine and i am going to take if you notice on the edge i don't know if you can see it right here so you see how it's rounded right there on both sides like i said this is going to be inside so all i do is i just line this up just to get rid of that straight edge part to get rid of the rounded portion i just don't like that on there and i'm gonna do the same thing for the other side you do not have to do this stuff you literally can just cut one side off or if you don't really care that it's rounded don't worry about doing this stuff but you do have to cut the paper anyway so you might as well just do it so what i do is i'm going to cut it in half or cut the rounded pieces off i'm going to open this up because what i need is I need the inside, I need the shiny part. If you notice, this is shiny, this is dull. I am going to open this up and I'm going to put the shiny parts facing each other because this is going to be the inside of the envelope. And once you put this in the other, the five mil laminating sheet, it's going to seal it. And once you cut the pocket, it's going to open it. So for me, once I do that, so you want to just make sure that it's on the side that's really dull and what I do is I'm going to take my vinyl that I am um, putting on. I'm going to take my transfer tape. And I am going to lay this down. So I cut this like real close to the edge. But you can cut more or less or however you want to do it. But you're just going to make sure you lay this on there as best as you can. I laid this down really bad but you kind of get the picture just lay it down so that you can pick it up there we go and then that's where this little tool comes in you want to just kind of make sure it will transfer with no issue and then i'm going to get this and it's going to come up Ooh, be careful don't rush through that part because you do not want to mess it up and then for me i take this transfer 
and I'm going to lay this down as straight as possible. I laid the transfer paper on there super cricket. So I'm going to lay this down on the inside of my sheet. And I'm going to line it up as best as I can with the edge. So that way when it falls off, it's straight as possible. Now again, this is how I do it and this is what works for me. I'm going to cut this light on. I feel like that just kind of made it worse. I feel like you can't really see it as much. And I'm going to remove this. So again, do this very careful because that vinyl will come up. And you can press it down with the little tool there if you need to but for the most time it'll stay so now we have it on there and that's going to be the outside of our envelope it's cricket right now but i'll show you how i'm gonna fix that once i do it so it won't look as cricket so let me go ahead and transfer the other two onto this because i put three on one because we do not waste product over here all of them on the transfer or all of them on the inside of my laminating sheet after i do that i am now going to take my other shiny shy i'm going to stick it shiny to shiny and now i'm going to cut the envelope out this helps me some people measure it and make sure it's straight that way but this is a way that i found where i don't have to measure it and it be too short or too long or not enough so i just take this and i literally will just cut the envelope and the way that i got the envelopes to be the size that they are the perfect size that i want is in the silhouette machine so i went ahead and made this six and a half by 3.15 i believe so that i can ensure i get a straight envelope so again you can measure this out and cut these in advance but i just found this way works for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to cut this laminate and sheet as close as i can to the bottom edge and then i'm just going to basically just cut the envelopes out and that's really what i'm going to do so i try to make the envelopes as straight as i can when i am placing them on the sheet but if i can't it's really nothing for me to just cut the side and i know that they're not going to be perfect so i'm going to do that and let me just go ahead and finish cutting these out And so on this one, I told you it was Cricut. So the way that I make it straight, obviously, is I'm going to lay this in the cutting machine, kind of lopsided, and make sure that it's lined up against this little inside guide that I use to cut it. And now the envelope is straight, and it's no longer Cricut. So now you can't even tell that it was Cricut. And then, like I said, I make sure my edges are somewhat kind of clean on the side. So... I'm just gonna cut this also without cutting my vinyl. Alrighty, so that's good enough for me. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I messed this up, so I'm gonna cut this because it didn't go because I was trying to be too picky with it, but let me just cut this little strip off. I was trying to be too extra. Alrighty, so now that I have them all cut, and I got the, the pocket on the inside. I am going to grab a five mil laminating sheet. It honestly look the exact same. It's just they're just a little thicker. So if you don't care to have them three mil on outside or inside, it really does not matter. So the way that I do it now is I'm going to place the shiny side together. Like I mentioned, make sure it is placed together. If not, your envelope is going to stick and you are not going to create a pocket. So I usually do three envelopes per laminating sheet because that gets me more. And I'm going to run this through the laminator. And I run it through two times, make sure it's ready. So now that everything is all laminated and it is super hot, so be careful. 
I'm going to now cut them out of the laminating sheet. Now for me, I like to leave an additional pocket at the bottom because I do like my envelopes cut or um, hole punch. So for me, I line it up to this line right here, which is the second line from the cutter. And I do it right here. Now previously, this is something new because before I was leaving three lines, I was doing three lines and I noticed that was a lot of extra room. So literally on these envelopes, I lined it up with the number two. If you have envelopes that I've done previously, then it was at the number three originally, but I just changed it as of February. And now I do it on the number two and that still gives, that still gives me so much more room to hole punch them. So I do it at this second line right here. And then to get them on the side, I normally would go to the first line on the side. This is how I get my envelopes to be exactly identical every time you get them. I line it up with the number one, but I changed it up again. And so now I line up. If you can see where we had the hole, I don't know if you can see right there is where the inside pocket was created. I line that up on the very edge and it doesn't open it or anything. So it still creates an additional like pocket if you can see it. It still has enough room to not open up on the side. And that's also something new that I've done. So I'm gonna do that for those. And then I'm going to open the pocket up. And that is where you wanna just cut at the very top. You wanna cut off the pocket of the laminating sheet that you put on the inside. And then this is going to open up. So let's see, let's make sure. And now we have an envelope. And that is how I make my clear envelopes. Super easy. Now for me again, I did say that I like a strip at the bottom because I do like to hole punch them. This is the hole punch that I use. It is a Recollections brand hole punch that I got from Michaels. Um, like. A year or two ago so I really just line it up and I'll line up the edge of the border of the box on one side so that they all measure up the same and I'll just line it up hole punching and like I said it does not cut into the envelope or anything like that with the holes and that is what it is looking like so something else that is optional if you want to I do hole punch my envelopes just to kind of get the sharp edge off. This is optional. Again, there is a one four side and a half side. So for me, I use the half side and I just take this in here, do it like this. And now my corners are rounded. So again, this is optional as well. And it probably looks better because the envelopes have the rounded boxes on it. And now your envelope is rounded on the corners, if you can see that. So that is how I make my clear envelopes. Um, that's how I am going to start doing them from now on. And I really like how they look. And I am revamping all of my sink and fun envelopes once again. Because I, I do not like to keep the same thing, as you all can tell, if you're new, not new to my channel. I'm always switching them up. So I'm going to go ahead and just do these other two. And then that's going to be the end of the video. All right, and that is how I make my clear envelopes. And you can see they line up perfectly each time. So that is how I do them every single time. And it's literally, it's really not, it's not hard at all. I promise, it is so easy. So I'm just gonna hole punch these. And that's it. So I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And as always, if this is your very first time clicking on the video of mine, then welcome to my channel. And I will see you in another video. I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment down below, liking it, commenting, all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in another video. If you enjoy videos like this, please let me know down in the comments. But these are my clear envelopes. They are so cute. I am not going to round the corners on these because I just want to have a different look for these envelopes. And I just thought they were so adorable. So thank you for watching. And I hope this was helpful. And I will see you in another video. Bye. Bye.